Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing well. A week back, I had asked in one of my videos on few suggestions for the content, and maximum request was for the home tour or the apartment tour we are residing here in Oman. So finally, I thought to share a glimpse of our rental apartment for you all. I'm looking for more makeovers, but so far I love the way how it looks. It's nothing bohemian, not Scandinavian, nor a farmhouse. It's a mix of what I love to put in my home to make it a cozy and a happy place to be in. Hope you too will like it. Keep watching. So this is how it looks when we enter the apartment. I'm at the entrance and this is the first view you will get to see. On the right side is the living area. We bought a lot of indoor plants recently and it has brought a beautiful change to the whole house. The greenery or the liveliness of the plants made this apartment so lovely and pretty. I do have some plants that I brought from Kerala from our home. I wanted to replant those into better pots. Some indoor plants look better in bigger pots and they definitely need those to grow further. And few smaller pots to hang which I love to see. I had few hanging money plants when we were in Riyadh and it was looking really pretty. I had taken those to Kerala and those are doing quite well there. There we get soil from the land and here we need to buy. This is potting soil and we get those tiny granules kind of thing. I used to see those in my old money plants and used to wonder what those were. It's called perlite I think and it's even called oxygen granules. The staff at the nursery had told me plants grow well when we add those and no wonder my money plants were growing well when we were in Riyadh because all the pots had those. Never thought we could buy it separate or else I would have already bought those at that time. Anyway, bought some from the nursery here and added to all the indoor plants I have. This is philodendron plant that I took from my home. This plant was given to me by my aunt, my mom's sister, and it had grown so well. I took a tiny piece along with the roots so that I can plant here. And it's doing quite well here. It was in a smaller pot earlier and now replanting in different pots. I had to wait to get a new pack of soil. The earlier one had quickly got over as I had to fill in those large pots. So meantime, I gave a wipe to all the leaves that had dust on them. If these weren't in bigger pots, I would have taken those to the bathroom and gently shower water on the leaves which is much easier to clean quickly. I might do the same next time. After buying soil, I continued the work that was left. This is one of the pots. It's a curd bucket. I gave a makeover and you can get to see the tutorial at the time mentioned on the screen. I had bought these rectangular planters long time back. Now it's time to plant the money plants in those and put it over a rack in the living area. These clips were taken on different days or I can say different weeks. There's so much gap between some clips though it might not look so. And here's another very simple artwork I made for the living area and for the space above the sofa. The timing for the tutorial is mentioned on the screen. You may skip to that minute if you want to know how I made it. These floral net curtains are from IKEA. I'll try to link below similar products in the description box. You may check out if you need them. Not sure of the availability in the country you live. And that's our living area. So 
So moving on to the next area, that's the dining. If you have been following me when we were in Riyadh, you might know that we had two separate rooms for the living and dining. But here it's a single hall. Initially, was feeling a bit congested and no space to move around. But slowly, we got used to it and thanks to the cleaning part. When it's one hall, it's so easy to keep it clean and tidy. I can put a curtain straight above here, but me and my husband, we both wanted to hang some plants. Moreover, the dining table will have to be pushed towards the bedroom and the kitchen side, which will definitely make it congested and not look really good. Or else we'll have to buy a small table and that will be difficult when we have guests. And I do have a lot of guests coming home who we invite for food and chit chats. Over to this side is a bathroom that my kids use. This painting is another simple one. Do skip to the minute shown on the screen to see how I made it. And I have drilled this L-shape hanger to hang something. Initially, I thought to place some hanging plant, but later changed my mind. So do let me know if you have any idea what I can hang over here. This already a snake plant below. Maybe the next time I can show you my Thursday routine as there was a Thursday that came in between these clips. I do change sheets and other chores on Thursday alone. Moving to the bedrooms and beginning with the master bedroom, though there's no master bedroom as such here, kids call it parents room. The bedrooms are where we get enough bright light inside the house. And for that reason, I have drilled hooks to hang few plants. And another one below is a rectangle planter. The plant hangers are made by me, which is very, very simple one. You can get to see the tutorial at the time mentioned on the screen. That's another painting I had done earlier in a video. The ironing table is placed here and there's another bathroom in this bedroom. Moving on to kids bedroom where I feel it's quite empty to make it or call it a kids bedroom. Rihan is grown up from a kid to a teenager whereas Arman is still a kid. So we need to find a decor for this room that balances both their age and I'm still hunting for some. This is a popsicle stick DIY lamp made for their room, tutorial provided. Now to my space, that's the kitchen. 
there were some lighting issues I faced while shooting videos. So I placed these string lights below the cabinet that works on battery. So there's a bit more brightness over the countertop. My kitchen here is much more spacious, but I don't know why, however spacious it is, I still lack storage. Do let me know if you feel the same. There's another door from the kitchen and here's where we have the laundry area. It's inside the building and that's what's blocking all the bright sunlight inside the living area. I have no space to put the dishwasher in my kitchen so placed it here. Though it's a bit hard to take all the pots and plates over here, I have no other choice. This is better than not having a dishwasher at all. I love this window in this kitchen because you can see to the living and dining area from the kitchen. I can almost clearly see from the kitchen but it's not easy from the living area to see inside the kitchen which is good. So that's all for the entire apartment and let me show you how the living and dining space looks at daytime. There's very less light. So I have placed few plants near to this window to get some of the light that passes through. And this is the only reason that puts me in a confusion whether to change the apartment next time or not. That's all for today's video and I hope you all enjoyed watching it. I know I have a lot of viewers who can decorate their home really well and in a classic way. Do put in your suggestions in the comment section so that I could use them if I'm able to. See you soon with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. The plan pot tutorial. I have taken a curd bucket. This is 2 kilo bucket. Remove the handle or you may keep it if you like so. Now take square paper sheets like this. I have used orange color. You may use orange or white or any lighter shade. If you don't get those, use an air 4 size paper and cut in 8 cm squares. You will have to roll it diagonally. You can roughly roll with your hand. You will have to stick this onto the bucket later. Not necessary when you roll with your hand, it gives an even look as not all the rolls will look same size. So you can use a skewer. Using a skewer gives a thinner roll. But I love to use a pencil that gives a thicker roll. It's up to you how you like the look. Now trim both ends a bit. To cover the design or the writings or whatever that's on the bucket, give a paint on it. I give it black. You can go for any darker shade. Now stick each roll on the bucket once the paint on it has dried. You may use white glue or glue gun. I prefer white glue or any liquid glue. To give that woody look, paint them brown. If you're using white paper for the rolls, the brown color will give a different woody finish. As this is orange, it's a darker shade. For the finishing touch, use a jute rope around. One on the top, another at the bottom. Put some holes to drain the excess water. Time to plant. Add soil and then place a plant in it. And there you get a pretty plant pot. For the DIY lamp shade, you will need colorful popsicle sticks. You can also use plain shade and then spray paint your favorite color. As this is for the kids room, I used colorful sticks. Stick 3 popsicle sticks as shown using a glue gun. Turn it over. Now take one stick and place it like how it's shown. It should be standing up. Then you will have to place two more at the ends and stick as shown. Continue the same way. I 
I have done here till it's a semi circle. You can make it a full circle and make it a hanging lantern or a hanging light and I'm sure it will definitely look really beautiful. Here we don't need any hanging lights and moreover there's no space for it. Now stick the string light inside. And I place a battery pocket above to easily switch on and off. I used a double sided tape to stick onto the wall. Make sure the sticker is strong that it can hold on itself without any support or else place it on a table or any space you think it's better. And there's a pretty DIY lamp. Now for this wall painting, I don't know how to give a tutorial on this because it's just a random art I made scribbling all around. Just keep watching to see how I made it. And there it is. For the plan hanger, the length will differ. Here I've hanged it on the hook and then looked for the length of the whole window. As you keep tying knots, the rope will get smaller so make sure you take more length. So take 4 ropes of the same length, hang in the middle and you get 8 ropes in your hand. Tie a big knot on top to keep the hanger in place. From here I took 30 cm length towards down, took two ropes and tied a knot. Do the rest for all and you get four knots using two ropes each. Now from that knot take 15 cm length. Now take two sets, take one rope each from both the set and tie a knot. So when you do the same with all the sets, you get a zigzag manner. Now place a plate or the pot to see when you need to tie the final knot. Finally I place a plant pot and that looked really pretty hanging there. I did the same way for all the four. For this simple art, I use three canvas of the same size, place few tapes here and there. I feel bigger spaces gives better look, so don't use too many tapes on the canvas. Just three or maximum four placing in a random way. Now choose three or four colors and paint each space with those. Once the paint is dry, remove the tape. You get this lovely piece of art. 